You're watching a classic episode of Bass Pro Shops Outdoor World Television. When it comes to big muskies, no one outshines Pete Mayna, known around these parts as the Muskie Maniac. Muskie fishing is a wild and woolly sport. Wild fish, big wild water, and wildly fanatic anglers like Outdoor World Pro staffers Pete Mayna and Gary Parsons. Pete and Gary have come to Lake Mille Lacs, north of St. Paul, Minnesota, to sample what has become one of the best musky waters in the nation. Musky fishing is a game of patience, but the rewards, fish that stretch over four feet long, are well worth the wait. And here on Mille Lacs, thanks to a stocking program that has added 5,000 to 10,000 fish to the lake every year since the 1980s, the population of big muskies is becoming very impressive. Mille Lacs is paid nationwide as a walleye producer, but these days it's also gaining a reputation among expert muskie anglers as well. Pete, general manager of Esox Angler Magazine and a famed pro muskie angler, author and guide, is a regular at the lake, as is Gary, former world champion walleye angler. Hey, this is like the hodgepodge time of year for muskies, isn't it? It really is. I mean, there's really everything going on. We're starting to get that transition where a couple months ago was mainly weeds and a little bit of sand, and now the now the rock reefs are starting to kick in, possibly some deeper stuff, shallow stuff. It's really going to be, you know, a, a guessing game. I think what we're going to start with, Gary, is a, is a weed line and, in, in, uh, you know, that sand transition. Basically, what we're going to have to do instead of just staying in one point, I think we'll just kind of zigzag in and out and see if we can figure out where they're at. Yeah, shallow or deep or, or whatever. Yeah. I, I like it when we play around. Let's go play around. Let's see if we can find one. Finding the right spot on the 18-mile wide lake takes a bit of looking, but there's plenty of quality habitat around the rock reefs and weedy bars. This is the type of weather that is not bad. Yeah, well, at least we didn't get stuck with... Uh, could be a little more windy, but 90-degree deal. Okay, bring on the rain. Ready. Take one of those big boots just to come cruising in and wallop it, try to rip my arm off. Yeah, I'm gonna try the pacemaker for a little while, Gary. Yeah, it's Get rough some, enough. But... Some top water going here. We haven't tried that yet. Perfect kind of waves for this bait. See what happens. Well, that's probably a good idea with the with it's rough enough for it and it's kind of this front's coming in. Bam. Oh yeah, all right. Boy, he just blasted he just that hammer, man. I, I gotta get this in quick. Yeah, he looked like a pretty decent one, from what I could tell. Oh. <laughs> we got gear, we got <laughs> rain, we got fish we on. Got wind, we got everything. Oh, he's over there. Oh, oh that's a pretty yeah. good fish. Oh, he I don't know what fish. you're talking about. Woo! <laughs> 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 All right, right man, man, buddy. Wow! That's what we were waiting That's for. That's a good fish. <laughs> boy, <laughs> boy, did he grab that bait. He wasn't getting off of there. Oh, man! Uh, come on, baby. Yeah, that's a good fish. Let me see what you're doing here. Boy, he just walloped that oh, bait. Oh, he did. Uh, she's still trying to swim in this net, Parsons. I tell you, That'll you, do you it. keep telling me these pacemakers and... Big wind. Well, yeah, and a big wind are the, are the ticket. The key is choosing a lure that's, that's louder with the wind and everything going on and these big waves and it needs to ride those rollers. You want a surface bait that isn't diving in. Yeah. Rides up on top like that and a lot of noise. It, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Nice fish. Look how pretty she is. They're not beat up very much. No. <laughs> One more time and then we'll get her back to the water where she's blue. All right, best thing to do when, uh, with these fish is actually just to, to hold them and let them get their equilibrium on their own. Yeah. See you, baby. <laughs> nice job, Pete. Hey, thanks, man. It was worth getting up early uh, this morning. <laughs> I don't like getting up early, but it was worth it today. <laughs> the Angler's Fish Pacemaker and Super Stalker lures on heavy 80-pound test super braided Cortland Spectron line. The leaders are Muskie Mania's 90-pound test, about 12 inches long. The stout two-handed Pete Mena Signature Series rods are essential for handling the big lures and the big fish that eat them. 
The Muskie Reels are Bass Pro Shop's Pete Mena Signature Series. I got one. Gary got Parsons one. and Pete hey, Mena are muskie fishing right. on Minnesota's Good Lake Mille Lacs. But Come muskies on aren't the oh, only yeah. thing yeah, biting yeah. today. Whether it's a pike or it's a big pike. Nice oh, pike. yeah, it is a pike. Yeah, I thought it was a muskie at first because it, when it came up, it had such a big head. That's a nice <laughs> pike, man. <laughs> that bait's been pretty hot, man. Yeah, it really has. Oh, there he is. Boy, that is a nice oh, pike. Yeah. For, yeah. Grab the pliers. For a U.S. fish. Whew. And he, what he did is he took a swipe at it. I felt it hit the tail. I felt, you know, just felt the, the oh, bait yeah. kind of go slack for a second. So I was like ready for it, and then it just came back and touched it. And <laughs> Boy, he ate it. You can cut that out if you need to. Oh, got them. Oh, Parsons, if you can just hook a 50 pound muskie that way. Told you, I'm like a piece of spring steel. If they touch it, they're going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that one got her. <laughs> oh, got oh one. I got one. Man, how does it feel? Is it a big fish? Oh, yeah, I think so, man. Look at that thing run. That is oh. a lower hogger. <laughs> oh, she swiped yeah. at it. Dude, look. Oh. oh. She swiped at it and I ended up hitting her in the tail. Look at the size really? of this fish. Oh my goodness, look at how big this fish oh, is. Oh, this thing is going to go Muskies crazy. frequently roll at a lure without taking it. <laughs> this one fish. got a bit too close to Pete's treble, uh, and right. now he's got oh, it, but at the wrong end. She's going to go berserk. You know what's going to happen, don't you, Gary? Yeah, I'm going to try to get my net around her? her nose. Take her so, try to get her so her head's here so we don't hurt her. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, fellas. She's going to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> I told you, man. <laughs> I was just about ready to get my uh, her nose around here. Well, let yeah. me just try and you get up front, and let me just try and work it. So, all right. Whoa! <laughs> She's going back to the reef, dude. <laughs> Do I look like I'm having trouble? Because if it looks like that, that's kind of the way it is. Well, this is an unusual deal here. Okay. Come on, up, 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 up. Nose, nose, we got her! <laughs> oh, I do like that fancy net job. <laughs> that was pretty good. Pretty good. Talk about a battle. It's so weird. It's like every fish in the lake was like that, too, you know? Should we try and get a measurement on this fish? Yeah, oh, she's still in the net. Talk to me on that end. Am I all right on your end, Gary? Yeah. It is 50 and a half. 50 and a half inches. That's a 35 pound fish. Oh, yeah. Like that. Oh, my God. Now that's what you call me. That is really to me. See how that, uh, that lower lobe is a lot longer yeah. on that thing? Yeah, it is really. Like that's at least day. a 35 pound fish. She's real good today. Yeah. Some experts predict that Mille Lacs might reduce the new yeah, all tackle record more. for muskies. And it just might someday be this very fish. You know, we talk catch and release a lot. One way that you can tell when I talk about this fish being in great shape is when they, they start to get a little more stressed, you'll actually see uh, blood starting to, little blood spots just underneath the skin. They'll usually start to form right behind the gill plate and then back in here a little bit too. You see a little bit of it starting right there. She is ready to go. Thank there you. She goes, baby. I like how they what just go paddling away. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing to do, if you do happen to, to hook a fish in the body somewhere, uh, just follow the fish. Chase it down. It really doesn't take that long, but the one thing you want to do is avoid fighting that fish too long. And even with the super heavy tackle, they've got a little bit more leverage when they're hooked in the body. So basically, you got to kind of work as partners. Uh, one guy on the trolling motor, a lot of times you're able to do that while you're actually fighting the fish. Chase that fish down, get it netted as quickly as you possibly can. It's really no big deal. I mean, that whole fight lasted about three minutes. It's something that does happen once in a while. There's nothing else you can do.